and I have already made uh, and another video on how to install custom ROMs on your device. For that, you will require TWRP. So, so if you want to install TWRP on device, you have you will be uh, you will get a link on the method how to install TWRP on your Realme X in the description below, and you will find an another video link on how to install custom ROMs on your Realme X device in the description below again, in the description box again. So go check these. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Parikshit, and in this video, I will tell you how to root your Realme X using Magisk. So there are basically two ways. One is using the TWRP recovery and uh, or any other custom recoveries, and the other one is using a patch reboot method. So I will explain in detail what these two are. Uh, you can skip the video and go to the and go to your required method and I will uh, give the timestamps for both of these methods in the description below go check it and directly skip to that method so method 1 using TWRP or any other custom recoveries uh, and if you haven't installed TWRP recovery on your device you can check my video which I made just one day ago uh, where I have explained step by step how to install TWRP specifically for Realme X uh, it is in the description box or in the i button or in both you can go check out that video and then later continue so using TWRP uh, all you need is to download the Magisk Manager app on your device open the app and you will find an option to install the Magisk zip file uh, click on install and you will be asked two options one is to download the zip file or to download the patch and boot image so you can you have to click the download zip file and a zip file which is around 6 MB will get downloaded and after that open TWRP click install select the zip file and flash it so once the zip flash gets filed reboot your system and your phone is rooted you can check your root uh, by once again opening the Magisk Manager and you will see that the Magisk zip file is installed. Okay guys, if you have any, uh, if you have faced any issues in the process, just comment down below. I will detailedly explain you uh, quickly, so you can do that. Now coming out to the coming out to the second method, one the one with the patch boot method. So for this method you will require a PC, okay? Uh, you will also require the stock boot image, and you will also require the VB meta file. So the stock boot image and the VB meta file and the Magisk Manager app, the three download links for the three uh, things will be in the description below. Download three of them, and uh, after downloading. Uh, go to the Magisk Manager app, open it, and you will find an option to download the Magisk zip file. Uh, click on install, and uh, once you click on the install, you will find two options whether to download the zip file or to go with the patch boot method. You have to select go to you have to select patch boot image. So after clicking patch boot image, you will be taken to uh, a window where you have to select the boot image which you have downloaded uh, what it will do is it will patch the stock boot image with root files in it so after flashing the boot image uh, you will get the root access on your device so as I said once you patch it uh, you have to select the boot stock boot image and the Magisk manager app will automatically patch it and produce an another file called Magisk patched boot image in uh, the internal storage and you have you have to find where it is it is it will be most probably in the magisk folder of your device uh, go and look at it and after doing this you have to go into your pc and uh, download platform tools so i have also forgot to mention to download platform tools you have all you have to download the platform tools also if you have already unlocked the bootloader device which you should have done before doing this you might
might have already known and the platform tools will also be already be in your PC so uh, if you haven't unlocked your bootloader yet go to my go check my another video which I have made a uh, very recently on how to unlock the bootloader of realme x specifically so go into that video complete it unlock your bootloader and then continue with this video so uh, go to the platform tools uh, copy the patched boot image to the folder and uh, rename it as patched boot so it will be easy to write commands Okay, uh, after copying it, press shift, hold the shift key and press the right mouse button in the folder itself, in the platform tools folder itself. So after doing that, you will be uh, you will be seeing an option called open shell command and click that and you will get a view screen shell command. In that type uh, ADB reboot bootloader and this will take you to the bootloader of your real of your device so but before doing that you have to enable the usb debugging option so if you have done that then it will take you to the bootloader of your device and then type fast boot space slash space boot space patcher boot dot img so why i said patcher boot image is because i have renamed it as patcher boot if you haven't renamed it just type the original file name in place of the patch report or if you have obeyed my words and renamed it type just patch uh, and press enter so the new boot image gets flashed on your device and then you have to flash vb meta which is very important a bit uh, as it disables the verity option on your device and uh, which allows you to smoothly boot back into your device otherwise your device will get into a boot loop, boot loop. so to flash the vb meta you have to again type fast boot space flash space vb meta space vb meta dot ing so all the commands will be in the description below you can again just go check and copy those and then type Okay, after two, after flashing both the patch and boot image and the VB meta, you are good to go. Uh, type uh, fast boot reboot, and your device will get uh, rebooted, and you will be back on your home screen with root access. Okay, guys, so that was it. Uh, it was the method on how to download the sorry how to boot your device thank you for watching and if you have any issues just type down in the comment section below i will try to resolve it as quickly as possible and if the issue is big or there are many requests on how about uh, that issue i will make a separate video for that okay guys uh, thank you for watching that's all and i have already made a uh, and another video on how to install custom ROMs on your device. For that, you will require TWRP. So, so if you want to install TWRP on device, you have you will be uh, you will get a link on the method how to install TWRP on your Realme X in the description below. And you will find an another video link on how to install custom ROMs on your Realme X device in the description below again in the description box again. So go check these subscribe the channel i will be giving updates on realme x, realme x so and fun fact um, i am recording this video on my realme x so you can also check the video quality of it okay guys thank you thank you for waiting me for such a long time and if you have come this far please subscribe okay